Good afternoon, this is Jeff of Sewer Tech Northwest. We're at 1570 Southwest 175th Avenue here in Beaverton. Located inside the garage, we're going into a three inch ABS uh, floor clean out, although you do also have one over here on a vertical pipe that drops out of the ceiling. Checking the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. I'm having some issues here with my monitor saving the video file. I've scoped this thing like three times already. Um, this pipe right here, it routes over to this pipe and, and it looks totally fine. I'll drop into it here in a second. Right here about 16 inches below the floor, you have a tie-in right there. That's where that line routes into this section of the line. So what you're going to see here is we've got a lot of grease buildup in the sewer line. I've already, my camera's already zeroed out. We're just going to push through this thing. We're going to get out here about 22 feet. What I'm recommending is the line get cleaned. You have very, very thick grease and debris buildup in the line. It's, it's an inch thick at its worst points. There's the main there. And the line goes out and terminates uh, just in the back alleyway here where the, the driveway goes out to. You'll see a green T marking out there. That T marking is actually unrelated to the sewer line. There's another clean out in the garage here uh, that's for the storm system. And I'll go over that here in just a moment. Anyway, that's the line as it, as it sits all drained out. And actually on the other video I was mentioning, there was enough grease and debris build up in here. I was worried that you might have an area that's bellied um, where the grease has displaced all the water and taken its place. But I'm, I've just carved a pathway through that. No standing water. There's just lots of grease. So I just recommend the line be cleaned and re-scoped uh, to show the work. You know, sometimes grease and debris can hide or conceal issues. Usually I can, I can see evidence of those things before the line's even been cleaned though. Line looks like it's in good shape. It just needs a thorough cleaning. This thing is a mess with grease. There's just tons of it in there. And that is something that can be mitigated. Um, you have to just build the habit into your life not to put it down the sewer line. Or down, mostly it goes down the kitchen sink drain. Anyway, that's not human waste there. That, that's all grease for the most part. All right, let me drop down here and I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna push all the way through it because the configuration is very hard on the camera. You go through a, a myriad of hard turns. Once you push past this Y connection here, Right down line right there, right up ahead is the vertical column that, that, the, uh, that the pipe ties into it. If we pushed about two more feet forward and you looked into the floor clean out, you'd see my camera head sticking through that tie in there. And part of the reason I can tell that is I can see where all the grease is coming out of that, that connection there, all those things put together. So all, all the line here looks like it's in good shape, minus the grease from the equation, has good flow and functionality. I recommend cleaning and a rescope. Beyond that, line itself here is looking good. And what I was mentioning on the other video, I'm hoping that video file saved correctly. You have another clean out here in the middle of the garage floor. That goes that also goes out here out back. Right in line with where that green T marking is, you'll look down here where the where the chain link fence is, and you'll see a manhole. That looks like it's the storm system. This line right now, from that clean out out to the main there, is completely submerged in standing water. The main lateral is also sur submerged and completely blocked right now, or not draining for some odd reason. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I looked into the manhole just down the road there. Um, it's It's got water filling up inside of it. But I also see some sandbags and thing just beyond that, sandbags and a hole that's dug into the ground. Um, just past the fence gate or the chain link fence gate that, that dead ends this road. My guess is that someone's kind of already clued into what's going on there, um, but that's something I wanted to bring, make you aware of. And I wouldn't have noted, even saw that had I not originally seen this sewer clean out. I thought that storm line was the sewer at first. But that's something that you're gonna wanna get dealt with before the rainy season comes. Cause right now as it sits, I don't think it would take a whole lot of rain to cause the storm system to overload.